Hey, what's up, everyone? This is the Enlightened One, the Enlightened One, aka God's Child, aka God's Child. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my page. Happy New Year. It's 2021. This year, we're going to let go and we're going to let God. Amen. Amen. Okay, let's get down to it. First, I want to appreciate every person who comment on all of my family are your worst enemies video. I appreciate it. I love you all. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Peace and blessings. Peace and blessings. I want to talk about something that's serious. Um, I want to talk to the, the younger generation that watch this video that we have to protect our elders. We have to protect our seniors. We have to protect them from the dysfunctional family members, the Kim folks, you know, the alcoholics, the, the gangbangers or the troublemakers or the naysayers or the gossipers or the adulterers or whatever, the narcissists, the mental illness. We have to protect our elders because here's the thing. Graze is in my beard. Can you see that? Graze in my beard. So that means pretty soon I'm going to be an elder. I cannot live and sit on this earth and allow a family member I care about being taken advantage of or victimized by a manipulative as relative so the thing about it is for example let me give you a prime example guys it's the same concept as men strange men in the neighborhood who's posing as comed people gas or they got on these uniforms and they want to enter a senior citizen home who they knows is 90 percent by itself and what they will do is they will knock on the door, the senior citizen peep through the blind, the curtain, and, and you know, most seniors, they lonely. They need uh, someone to talk to. And, you know, if you have a senior mom or a dad or uncle or relative, you know, sometimes it's good to call them. No, call them. If they live nearby, go see them. Let neighbors see you in and out from time to time. But when a senior is by themselves, 90 percent sign, is chances are it can be victimized. Okay, so the senior citizenship, people to the blind, he or she, and they let them in and they miss their son, they miss their children, and, and they don't understand. They let their loneliness, their, de their desperateness make them a victim. And see, I'm the type of person, I go off all the time. You know what I'm saying? I go off because I'm the pit bull. So then the seniors is robbed or rob or otherwise and so it would be our fault because we have to hold up the baton we are past a baton and see some people don't want to take that baton and so me and the family i'm the pit bull okay my thing is i'm not going to allow you to take advantage of my auntie my uncle or my parents, or anything of the nature, and you have to say, have that same mentality, okay? Because you're gonna have that slick cousin, that slick niece, or that person want to come by, want to borrow money from grandma, want to use grandma Wi-Fi. Oh, there's nothing wrong with the Wi-Fi, but don't allow kin folks take advantage of your elders. Because, you know, kids going to do that. Kids going to go to the house. They're going to eat. They're going to use the Wi-Fi. Kids going to do that. That's the grandchildren. They're going to do that. I'm not talking about them. I'm talking about the ones who's up to no good. There's nowhere on earth a grown man come into town who don't interact with their elder. None zero not or maybe once or twice a year and be at their doorstep by themselves. that's unacceptable when a relative from out of town go see a senior make sure somebody's over there stopping by as well why because we don't know the motive especially if you haven't seen or heard from a relative in months or maybe years make sure say you know uh for example Let's say your grandmother is at home by herself and one of your trickery, shady relatives stop by. Shady, tricky, shady, cousin, uncle, whatever, shady, whatever. 
and you and your grandmother had to work something out, you'd be like, hold on for a second. Had them to call you. Oh, really? Huh. All right. Then you hang up, call them on the phone, say, hey, man, what's up, man? Uh, you at mama house. Uh, what's, what's going on? Oh, man, I was just in the neighborhood, man. I just flew in, and I'm, I'm here. And, uh... Huh. Who's with you? Oh, it's just me. I'm just me. Is this you by yourself? Do anybody know, know you in town? Oh, no, man. I just came by to see auntie. I came by to see unk. I just kind of, uh... huh. You know what, B? I'll be right there. Or let me make some phone calls. So the reason why I'm saying that because you don't know what a dysfunctional relative is capable of doing. You don't know if they high, mental illness, or just the wickedness of the devil in them. You have to protect your elders from the dysfunctional relative. Now, people are going to say this. Well, you like one. What if the grandmother, the aunties, the uncle are the dysfunctional ones? Then that's on them. If they tell you, oh, that, that mind your business and you ain't got nothing to do with it, this is my house. Okay. You got it, auntie. You got it, grandma. No problem. Woo, woo, woo. No problem. Because chances are dysfunction likes dysfunction. But what I'm saying is if you got the shady relative, the shady person, deceptive, always on a come up, and they never call, they never call, and they and they flew in, caught the bus in, or hitchhike or whatever, especially without their spouse or children, is suspect. So as the pit bull of the family, we have to protect our elders from these dysfunctional relatives. And they get offended. I don't care. They don't like it. I don't care. Now, once that relative tell you, oh, it's okay, and don't, don't worry about it, okay, fine. And then what you do, you tell them, say, look, if anything happened, that's on you. Don't call me. Oh, yeah, you know how some people have, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, he stole my TV. Uh, I'm missing my jewelry. Uh, uh. You better call Tyrone. Call. When you're a pit bull of the family, you have to show tough love. You have to protect your children as well. You have to protect your wife as well. You have to, when a relative pop up at your house unannounced, unannounced you look at them you know say hey what's up man how you doing especially when your kids and stuff it's a shady relative that never call and all of a sudden they're going to pop up out of the blue so you wait right here cuz wait right here man close the door open the door close the door behind you uh what's going on man you you close the door behind you because you are protecting your family so if anything happened to you, they can be on the phone call 911. And you ask them what's going on, man. How you doing? Oh, man, I was in the neighborhood. Oh, I was just in town. Huh. And you didn't call nobody, don't nobody. Oh, no, I just, I just want to surprise people. I just want to surprise people. Huh. Well, it's pretty late, cuz. You know, um, won't you come back tomorrow or something like that? You know, come back daytime or regular time or, you know bad timing because up here in Chicago you have to call first I don't care if you're around the corner you better call me an hour away you don't pop up at people house unannounced well that's that's just my rule you know and so to everybody out there what I'm trying to say to you is that the family members are or could be your worst enemies sometimes it be the kin folks that's doing the most victim victimous things hurtful things to children to elders even to pets you have to be the pit bull you have to protect the seniors 
the children and the pets because pets are family you gotta watch them so this the light one gotta go if you like this video do me a favor hit that notification button so i can give you more like this video share this video this is the enlightened one from chicago illinois i gotta go peace and blessings to everyone out there worldwide from the east coast west coast north america south america peace and blessings remember you have to protect the people you love gotta go peace